hand it over. You don't understand? It's Crucio! Ah! You know, one of my favorite phrases for one lore is that the wand always chooses the wizard. You won't have full control unless... A Volcadabra! Magical creatures, they are one of the most important aspects of the entire wizarding community. As you know, Professor Hagrid has taken a leave of absence for personal reasons regarding his half-brother. But this is no excuse to miss a rare and beautiful opportunity, which is why I've called you all here today. You all will know of the flutterbys. The insects' migration patterns indicate that they will fly through our forest this week, and you all lucky enough to see them. Your assignment is to go into the forest and recover one of these creatures, as we will be studying them later on. Yes, Miss Halwell. Considering what happened last year, don't you think it would be a good idea to go in as groups? I don't want to be attacked by some forest native half-breed creature. Of course, Miss Halwell. Everyone, get into groups of three and head in. Be careful, I want to see you before the hour is up. Luna, Rolf, you two go in together. You should have no trouble finding the Flutterbys with Mr. Scamander's help. Off you go. Grandfather really helped to capture Grindelwald. And he wrote our textbook, too. That must be quite nice, having famous relatives. The only famous person I know is... You didn't fight last year, did you? No, uh, I was studying abroad in Beaubaton. Don't worry, things were crazy there, too. But um, my parents just thought it would be safer there because, um, well, you know. Why haven't I seen you around before? I don't mean to be rude, but um, I'm not really the social type. I, I prefer to spend my time with um, my creatures. I have a collection of them in my dormitory. That's nice. Most of my friends left before this year. But I see Ginny often and Hermione from time to time. And who exactly is that? Are we even going to try to look for these bugs? <laughs> Are you serious? We have the opportunity to do what you know who couldn't last year. If what Viscera says is true, and he does have it, the Ministry won't stand a chance. I just can't wait to get back to that stupid school. I would have fought, you know, if it wasn't for... For what? For the professors literally forcing us to leave? Had Slytherin been allowed to fight, things would have been a lot different now. But no matter, it will be soon enough. Come on, then! Honestly, Sage, I doubt he'll let you be a death eater with your brains. We should definitely tell Professor Grubbly Plank about this. We can't! We're too far into the forest. If we go back now, there's no telling what will happen. We can't just let them go, either. You mean you want us to follow them? Luna, when it comes to defense against the Dark Hearts, I'm not the best. 
Plus, we still need to find that Flutterby. I don't like it much either, but whatever they're doing, it's not good. Did you hear the name they said? Um, Viserys? Viserys Malwood. I read an article about him in The Prophet. He's a former Death Eater. He disapparated before the end of the battle last year. Apparently, he's been on the run from the Aurors for quite a while. And did you hear what Xenia said? He's got something. Something dangerous and powerful. We can't just sit here! Luna, I think it would be best if we just. Students doing out this far. I'll see you. Prepare a force. And I could ask you the same thing. Who are you? Stand down, lad. My name is Marge Evergreen. I'm a arbor for the ministry. There's been reports of a high-profile suspect coming through here. Viserys Malwood? How do you know that name? Tell us who he is first. If you're already out here, you're already in danger. Viserys Malwood is a former Death Eater. He murdered an antiquities collector recently. I've been tracking him for a few weeks now, and his trace led me back to here. I thought all the Death Eaters died out after last year. As they say, when you cut off the head of a basilisk, then- No, that's just it, innit? Most did, of course, but there's still a few out there loyal to his ideology. There's a girl. A what? There's a girl in our class, Xenia Halliway. She and two other students were talking about him. I think they were going to meet him. They went that way. Well, that's the best lead I've got so far. Let's go! Let's... There's no way I'm letting a lot of you run around here with a Death Eater on the loose. Hogwarts students or not, you're coming with me. You can trust me, I promise. What does he have? Excuse me? Viserys, what does he have? Xenia mentioned that he had something. Something powerful, and that the Ministry wouldn't stand a chance if he had it. Stay close, you two. I think this is it. It's better be, we've been walking for ages. That's right, I'm starving. Do you know if this guy's got any food? I have done as you asked, my liege. Now reveal yourself. You disappoint me, Xenia. The only reason I came to this forest was because you promised me an army. You said the entire Slytherin house would be here. This was all I could get. But others will join us, I swear. Is it true? Do you have it? It is an ancient weapon, but also a practical one. Not as powerful as the Elder Wand. And not as flimsy as one of those regular ones either. But what does it do, though? Stories say that it is otherworldly power. Power that you know who only dreamed of. But to understand its true potential, one must make a great sacrifice. I was once a Death Eater. And I will never renounce the old ways, but I will need loyalty on my side so that we can take over again. I am loyal to you, my lord. It is not you I am worried about, Xenia. Your friends don't share our same vision. I mean, this is cool and all, but I'm not really ready for another war. Yeah, loads of people died last time. I do not have time for this squabble. I sense a fight in our future. If we are to find out the secrets of this wand before the auras arrive, I'll need loyalty and commitment. Find them, and take them out, and do what must be done, for the greater good. Did you hear that? Yes, we're close. Oh, 
All right, you two. I want you to stand back here while I go detain him. Whatever happens, stay close. And if all hell breaks loose, head for the castle. I'll be right behind you. We've got to help her. Hello, Poppet. Go, oh, I got this! What's this? Why'd you give up on running so soon? And so ends the reign of this... <laughs> Some or Xenia, bring me her wand. Kingsley Shacklebolt has taught you well. Why didn't he come? Lucky he didn't come, because the way you're fighting, you wouldn't have lasted long. Where'd he go? I don't know. It sounds like the others are in trouble though. We gotta go. I'll tell you later. Marge needs our help. Come on. You've changed your mind, Mrs. Commander. I suppose I have. Come on, let's go. I have a plan. My liege, you're bleeding. Hey, you lugs, come and get me. I thought you took care of them! Kill them! Stand down, Xenia. You may not know who I am, but I know who you are, Miss Lovegood. Call me Luna, Mr. Malwood. I don't believe we've met. Your father wrote some nasty things about our cause last year. Yes, yes, I was on the team that escorted you from Christmas holiday. I will finish what the Dark Lord started. Goodbye, Luna.
are nothing. You are no match for the power in me. Expel the armor! Once you are dead, a new era will dawn in this world. With me at the helm, I truly am unstoppable. Ah! No, please! Please don't hurt him. He's... He's my older brother. He's all the family I've got. You all right, lass? Avada Kedavra! No! No! Stop them in the woods. They're quite dull. You're alive? Aye, and thank goodness too. You would have been a goner had I not saved you back there. That's just it, I'm wondering. How is it that you survived, but he died? That. That wand is incredibly powerful, but not in the way you'd expect. I heard it was made in the earlier days of magic by some of the most powerful magicians ever. It was not built to obey the powers of dark magic, rather it cannot cast a killing curse. Mortally wound, yes, but not kill. And if the user tries, it backfires. After all, it is made of ice, isn't it? Thank you for your help today, Miss Evergreen. I trust you'll take these two back to the Ministry? Uh, and we'll get him sorted out. You two best be going now. Don't you have a class to be in? We do. Do you want this back? It's yours, my dear. I hope to see you again, Luna Lovegood. Yeah. Uh, and Wolf's Commander. <clears throat> well? Shall we? I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Where the bloody hell have you two been? This assignment was supposed to take an hour. Not the entire day! And have you seen the other Slytherin students? Ah, uh, McGonagall's gonna have my hat for this. I'm sorry, Professor. It was my fault, um... You know how I am with creatures. How on earth did you end up like this? Oh, no matter. Madam Pumphrey will have you fixed up in no time. Did you find the Flutterbys? Merlin's beard! This is the best one I've seen all day. I'm assuming you all had fun. It was... Um... <clears throat> it was... Exceptionally ordinary. Yes, Professor, I would say your day has been exceptionally ordinary. You've seen quite a bit of combat today, haven't you, Miss Evergreen? Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Flora Abernathy, Special Missions Office from the Ministry. We heard about what you did in the forest today. Taking down a Death Eater? Let 
closer than Viscerous Mal would, is an impressive feat. And we have a job for you. What do you want? To buy you a drink. And talk. Tell me, Madge. Do you know what this is? <laughs>